Hooked up. DDT. This match is brutality starting to show on him. The indomitable spirit of Rey Mysterio on full display. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Oh, a moonsault. And into the count. Two. Man, absolutely exhausted. Put everything he had into the match here tonight. And oh, look who's here. I wonder what this man wants. You can feel the tensions rising. Prepare for a truly glorious arrival. A champion in NXT and WWE, no one else is glorious. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 235 pounds. Well, according to Robert Roode, no one measures up in the ring or on the entrance ramp because nobody makes an instant impact quite like Robert Roode does. He's held the NXT title, Tag Team Championships, the United States title. Robert Roode is all business. And Robert Roode has tasted success both as a tag team competitor in singles action. And you know, Byron, he's proved he's dangerous in any situation, any night of the week. Yeah, like it or not, Michael, Robert Roode has made a career out of making the most out of his opportunities. Roode is a serious threat to any superstar, and Robert Roode is always ready to get his hands dirty. Some of the most positive and energetic superstars you'll ever meet. The New Day. No one gets the crowd fired up like the New Day. And his opponent, accompanied by Big E, representing the New Day from Ghana, West Africa, weighing in at 212 pounds, Kofi King. What makes the New Day so impressive is the incredible bond these superstars share. Seems like nothing will ever come between them. They celebrate each other's successes and are by each other's sides in loss. Now you really can't help but be inspired by these guys. They've accomplished so many incredible things together.
It's true. Historic championship reigns, memorable matches, the power of positivity has taken the New Day far. Kingston is a man who lives and breathes the power of positivity. He truly believes that if you have faith in yourself, good things are bound to come your way. Absolutely, Michael, and it's hard to argue with the results. Kobe's had a career full of incredible achievements, breathtaking moments, and huge triumphs. When you put it that way, Byron, one thing's for sure, we could all use a little more positivity in our lives. And then you've got the decorated superstar, Robert Roode, known to use every vicious trick you can think of in the ring. Roode will do whatever it takes to keep himself moving forward on a path to fortune and glory. And I applaud his unwavering ambition. Roode has gone far in this business by always looking out for himself. You don't get the kind of global recognition Robert Roode has by playing nice. You get it by being cut through. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. And got away with that one. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. What's the best strategy when going head-to-head -head with a guy like Robert Roode who knows every dirty trick in the book? Well, I think Robert Roode actually helped write that book, Cole. When facing Roode, you need to play it safe and wait for openings. That's the only way you'll avoid falling into one of his traps. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. And back in the ring we go. Effective arm drag. Kofi got countered there. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Lights out. DDT connects. Uh-oh. Rude able to evade. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Back and forth from these competitors. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Ooh, a nasty shot to the throat. Ooh, that hurt. There it is. He can end it here. One, two, Kick out close to three. Very close. The T clearly set again. Take down. Whatever the cross face gets cinched in. This could. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Oh. Effective arm drag. Oh, European uppercut. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Watch out! Centon hits the target! That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. And now gets tossed into the ring. That'll turn your lights out. I see a cut two on Kofi after that. Oh, he knew what was coming. Just one step ahead into a neck breaker. He's on his heels a bit now. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Yeah. Pow, what a shot. Side headlock applied. What a good Watch. measure. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. He's positioning himself, closing in. Taking flight. High impact missile drop kick. Rude, he's thinking big. Perched up top. That one failed, makes the cover. He narrowly avoids the count. He really 
really thought that was it. Hooked up, and boom! Devastating elbow. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing puzzle! Just after two. Close call, that was almost lights out. Uh-oh. Using the momentum to sweep the leg. Tap in the leg. Oh, that hurt. Trunk kick with precision. What a forearm. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Catches an uppercut. The closer this match is just ahead. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Drew can't be feeling glorious right now. I'll be in trouble, Byron. Kofi. SOS by Kofi. Kofi proving just how effective that high energy style can be. Avoids the kick. Boom! Answers with one of their own. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. He's taking this to the floor now. And Rude reverses. Now watch this. Northern right suplex. And Kingston being brutalized again. Yeah, Kofi has been broken down over the course of this match. Ah, oh, look at this. Just cranking it out. Just cranking the head. And this just goes to show you how confident Robert Roode must feel. That will stop the count, and this match will continue. I'm glad that wasn't the end of things. Hurled away. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Kicks out. How in the world did he kick out? Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. Had that one scouted. A rack elbow smash, nothing fancy. This has become a monumental struggle for these competitors. It is down to who still has the energy, the resolve to put the pedal to the metal. Gets fended off. He's finally able to slow down all those incoming attacks. The U-turn Kofi needed in this match could have been that right there. And now Rude has all gears in motion. You're not going to find Rude showing any remorse. Torturous focus on the leg. Ooh. Uh-oh. Block the effort and cut them off with a shot to the gut. Oh my god, a close line! Will it be? A kick out at two. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. They've got their opponent's arm. Vicious knee drop. Kofi Kingston needs to rally. Kofi has to trust from the middle rope. Oh, what a splash! Feed off the WWE Universe. This place is starting to rock. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Looking for a high risk move. From the top. Elbow drop. For the win. Two. He got him. Robert got him. Here is your winner, the glorious Robert Roode. A glorious victory for Robert Roode. Looks like it's back to the drawing board for Kofi after this one.
She's a feared MMA grappler who is always ready to fight. The following is a triple threat match. Making her way to the ring from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. A women's MMA pioneer. In fact, Shayna Baszler finished most of her matches by submission. And those skills have translated to WWE Women's Division dominance. It'll be over soon. Don't worry. She holds the record for most women's Royal Rumble eliminations and women's elimination chamber eliminations. It doesn't matter if she has one opponent or 29. In the ring or in a chamber, Shayna Baszler is always ready to fight. When the mouth guard goes in, the lights go out for her opponent. No doubt an intimidating presence to deal with. And Bahala has only gotten more mysterious with her connection to the gods. And her opponents. First, Bahala. Bahala considers herself the ultimate hunter. And the women's division is her prey. Stalks her prey and strikes with ferocity. Every win is a trophy kill for her. She wants to see the sports entertainment world burn. And she may very well do that, but punishing the competition will have to do for now. Here comes everyone's favorite bundle of insanity. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross! The superhero's flown the coop. Nikki's now somehow even more unhinged than before. There's so many accolades in Nikki's career. She was even the final 24-7 champion after throwing the title in the trash. Well, the last woman to throw a title in the trash made it to the Hall of Fame, so maybe there's a method to Nikki's madness. These three are ready to settle it all in a triple threat matchup. All set for action, and in this one we have Shayna Baszler, Valhalla, and Nikki Cross. Always a feeling out process in the early goings of a triple threat. You want to gauge your distance. You want to know just how much real estate you can have to yourself. You don't want to be the first one targeted because things can snowball against you quickly. And a clothesline. She flips it back on her. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Oh, this, what a headbutt. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. She knows what an important equalizer the kendo stick can be. She has never had a chance to block any of those. She steers clear of that one. Paint a picture for me, Corey. Hypothetically, what are some tactics you'd use to win an ODQ match? What? Goes into the pin. She kicks out in one. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Ah, oh, look at this. Temple Matt Slam. Can 
she keep her down? Running interference. Launched into the air with a back body drop. That often. Ankle lock. And Agat breaking it up at the last second. attack right there. Nikki just at This has been such a back and forth matchup. She looks like she's willing to do anything to end this thing. She may have to. These two have battled back and forth, thrown everything they have at one another. But what on earth is next? Steadily climbing. What could she possibly be thinking? All the way to the top! Oh, Avalanche! Poison Rana! She's beginning to flag a little. And Valhalla making it clear there that the hunt is officially on. Attacking the body. Headbutt to the back of the neck! Look at all these oh my God. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Uh-oh. Baszler dodges it. Mounted. Mounted palm strikes. I think Rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Now looking for something to waylay her opponent with. Grabbing a kendo stick. Any connection with flesh will definitely leave a welt. And no countouts mean she has the whole outside to play with. And Valhalla may have felt that coming. The Queen of Spades showing her power. Yokosuka Cutter. And she slides her back to the mat. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. I don't know what they're looking for here. Oh, man, take me out to the ball game. Oh, straight for him. Oh, swung for the fences. Good defense. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Into the pin attempt. Two. Powers throw after two. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. She adjusts it and reverses it. She probably knew that cover wouldn't do it. Uh-oh, look at these repeated strikes. Here we go for the kill shot. She swung oh, 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 out of nowhere. And there's the breakup, just in the nick of time. I'm just surprised that this triple threat match is still going on, Cole. I bet Saxton this would have been over by now. She did her homework there. Chop! Not done just yet. A uh, handstand. Will Valhalla end this? Tremendous victory in this triple threat match.
I honestly think she just put the rest of the women's locker room on notice with this triple threat match. Anxiously waiting for his opponent in this match. Here he is, and here we go! So much bad blood between these two. They didn't want to wait, and neither do we. Let him go! Not wasting any time here! The official rang the bell. Now these two can do whatever they want to each other. That attack before the bell doesn't seem to have diminished these superstars' eagerness to start this match. You're right about that. You can see some very determined looks on the faces of these competitors as we get underway. This match is a power keg, ready to blow. Emotions are running very high between these superstars. Well, that's one explanation for the unchecked violence we witnessed before the bell. And we just saw a flurry of strikes here. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. DDT by The Undertaker. Oh. Bam! An early pin attempt. He kicks out before two. He thought he could get this thing finished fast. Oh, stiff punch. Momentum is running away from Wilson. The Undertaker cannot be... They're going to catch him off guard. Gets the shoulder up. Trying to wrap up this match fast. There he goes, right into the corner. Oh, that was inventive. Corey, we talk a lot about if certain legendary superstars have still got it. And you know that question's come up a lot lately with regards to The Undertaker. How can the dead man prove he's still a force to be reckoned with here? I think he can do it by beating his opponent down with his otherworldly strength or by making their blood run cold with his terrifying agility. Bottom line, just by being his usual intimidating self. Real European uppercut. Ah, oh, foot just stomping down. Mistake made by Wilson. Ah, oh, straight to the floor. Talk about a jumping nothing. A real miscalculation on their part. counter a neck breaker off into the pin no he kicks out he clearly has no intention of staying down he saw that one coming caught with a bit can he do it here he gets the shoulder up at two at this point in the match that could play and possum shoulder long at all. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Gets him with the counter. Punch lands. Great counter by Wilson. I thought I'd seen some incredible rivalries in my time, but this might take the cake. Yeah, this has redefined the meaning of bad blood. On a molecular level, they are incompatible. They utterly and completely detest each other. The uniqueness of Kit Wilson on full display. 
Showing off, but also showing out. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Undertaker's lost all power. The dead man hits ready for something. Oh, spinebuster. Kid can end this now. The cover. Oh, he was almost finished. Chills have to be running up your spine after the Undertaker is able to kick out like that. Throwing everything in the kitchen sink in there. But to up high. Oh, wait a second. Conan. Here's a cover. Could be it. Forces the shoulder up after two. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Tearing down the leg now. Oh, no. I got right to the gut. And that prevents Undertaker's attack. Able to evade. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Placed in the corner. Scoop slam. The dead man lining up his next victim moments away. Popped up. No way. Yes way. What power. Tombstone. Nothing Wilson can do now. Makes the cover. Hangs on by a thread. Oh, I thought that was game over. Pure guts to kick out there. Not many opponents can take that kind of a shot from Undertaker and keep kicking. You have to think Taker has just gained a bit more respect for his adversary. These men are looking battered and bruised. You have to believe the end is near. Bruised but not broken. This one is going as long as there's breath in their lungs. Grabs their opponent by the ankles. Oh! Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Stomp to the leg. Oh, man. What punishment being dealt from Wilson. Undertaker is really being tested here. Big back body drop. Undertaker is going up top. Big forearm. A nice shot by the Undertaker. Now one of the best strikers in the business. Oh, what a punch. Oh, what a chop. And now tying up the leg. Straight to the knee. Incapacitating the shoulder. He's heading up top. Thinking big. From the top. Good Lord. Taking flight. And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. Into the arm track. Quick reversal. Kit feeling a sense of confidence here. Uh-oh. Hazardous part of town here on the apron. Back suplex on the apron. Momentum is running away from Wilson. And that's The Undertaker continuing to impose his dominance, proving he's still able to beat a man down and execute moves with terrifying agility. Taking this to the floor. Getting back into the ring. Catching an elbow to the side of the face. Big overhand. A double knee face breaker. Kit can end this now. And, and he's still in the game. The dead man still very much alive, despite taking what I can only describe as a hellacious maneuver. A new strategy is needed right about now if that couldn't end things. This, this is it.
A celebration of victory in this match where some devious offensive action earlier on put them in control. I bet their opponent learned a thing or two in this one about watching their back. I bet they did. Next time, it might not be so easy to steal the match. Xavier Woods is here. Please, no trombone. I'm begging. Play it. Play it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. Representing the New Day from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 205 pounds. Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods is a superstar who's dominant with a video game controller. He can rock a mic and then handle his business in the ring. Yeah, Woods moves around like he entered a cheat code, but Woods is for real, and Woods is as tough as they get. Born in a barrel of butcher knives and raised in a forest fire. Do, do you know what that means, Byron? Because I still haven't uh, figured it out. Yeah, it sounds cool. And his opponent, representing Indus Sheer from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, the modern-day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. This is the kind of match the WWE Universe has been dreaming of, and that dream is about to become a reality. A competitor who always has his game face on, ready for a major battle. Jinder Mahal is, of course, the man who calls himself the modern-day Maharaja, a superstar who is determined to see his name in lights and surround himself with fortune and glory. Jinder doesn't call himself that, Cole. He is the modern-day Maharaja. Show some respect. 
Jinder's a self-made man who's worked hard to craft himself into the ideal superstar. Anything Jinder has won, he has richly deserved. So you say, Corey, but everyone who Jinder ever used as a stepping stone or who he's cheated probably sees it differently. But Xavier Woods is focused and ready to prove just how underrated of a talent he really is in WWE. Xavier has all the tools for in-ring success, from his innovation to his agility. He just needs to put it all together here in a way that secures him the W. Because the power of positivity can only get you so far, folks. Sent to the outside. Incoming! Gonna fly! Oh. Pinpoint precision right on target. If Xavier Woods is hoping to get the better of his opponent in this match, what do you think we need to see from him? I think we need to see Woods get serious about capturing the win. This is no time for trombones or pancakes. He has to be 100% committed to overcoming the opposition and getting the W. Followed up by another to the chest. And gets tossed back into the mat. Big risk here. He may. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. He's been placed in the corner now. Oh! oh targeting the stomach. Countered it just in time. Reverse on Mahal. He saw it coming, taking advantage. 110 strip shoulders down. This could be it. No shoulders up at two. Not yet. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Oh, right to the throat. Ooh. Measured stomp right to the gut. Oh, and the chest as well. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. This one is headed outside, guys. Kick to the stomach. Front face lock applied. Has the leg. Swinging. Fisherman neck. Wait, 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 wait. He forces a break before the count of two. Getting the shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. And that was a first-hand example of a dirty attack. Hey, go. Boom! Byron, can this superstar do this? Well, I think we're seeing it, Michael. This superstar headed down that road to victory. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Oh, man! And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Back elbow finds the mark. Elbow after elbow. Down they go. Back. Uh-oh. Wolf with some agility. Showing some. Jinder Mahal with a drop toe hold, looking to put this one away. Camel clutch locked in. Oh, I'm gonna tap out here, but it ain't gonna. And he may have felt his grip slipping, so he releases the hold. And still was able to produce some considerable damage, though. Count out may be imminent here. Really testing fate right now. Jinder has set his sights on his opponent now.
Here they come. This is going to be an all-out war. These two won't even wait for the opening bell. The official desperately trying to, trying to separate these two, but I'm not sure that's going to be possible. Well, tensions have already boiled over. We haven't even had the bell yet. Well, they didn't want to wait for the bell, but the referee finally got things under control. I can only imagine what these two are going to do to each other during the course of this match. Sleeper applying. This could be it. Nice. Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. <laughs> round and round into the satellite DDT. Ooh. Soul kick. Oh, I didn't go as planned there. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, kick right to the knee. Oh, an alley -oop bomb. You have to quick cover. Shoulders are down. She powers out immediately there. I think this ref might be a little slow on the count. Drop kick to the back. Never saw it coming. Corey, do you have any insight on Charlotte Flair's mindset in this one? Charlotte wants more than a win. She wants to assert her dominance. People pretend they don't know just how superior Charlotte Flair is. So sometimes she needs to remind them. Oh, low tackle. Charlotte experiencing a bit of a challenge to the natural in-ring ability she prides herself in. That spirit of chance is proving hard to contain. Chop block. Brilliant. Right to the back of the knee. Target the lower body there, and it was highly effective. solid win. Everything went their way here. Only because the opposition got softened up by that attack earlier. But you're right. Victory is theirs. Let's not ruin this moment of celebration. They earned this. Earned it with sneaky tactics. Well, strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory, Saxton. Oh, 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 are you guys ready?
The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 225 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Chris Eric O. All these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance. I can't wait to see what unfolds. The champ planning to show his dominance in this division with an emphatic win tonight. The Judgment Day is here. Everyone in their way is doomed. And his opponent, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, J.D. McDonough. The Judgment Day growing more dominant every single night and their accolades grow with every match. Now this is a group that's almost impossible to prepare for. The Judgment Day plans for every scenario, always having each other's back. Now they create chaos, and Judgment Day thrives in chaos. Just look at the Judgment Day, powerful, dominant, and ready to unleash their anger. Expect no mercy, no concern for their opponent's well-being. Well, that's how the Judgment Day conducts their business. They want power at any cost. You know, guys, I still don't know how this guy got this match against the champion. Well, I think he's earned the match, Michael, but seems like some people don't think he's earned the title shot quite yet. Yeah, we'll see how this goes, and maybe he'll prove everyone wrong. And he's taken on one of the fiercest competitors to cross the pond, J.D. Madonna. Part of what makes J.D. so fierce is his ability to adapt his game plan on the fly. Sure, he comes in with a game plan, but sometimes plans change, and J.D. knows how to change with them. That sort of adaptability is hard to learn, but JD's a master student of the game. Suplex. Oh, saw it coming. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Tornado oh. DDT! Talk about devastation. The aggressiveness of J.D. McDonough has proven difficult for many opponents to overcome. Corey, do you think that's the case in this match tonight? That aggression is McDonough's biggest strength and weakness, Cole. We've seen how he likes to bend the rules, and there's only so much bending before something breaks. If you can frustrate J.D. McDonough, he may lose his cool and leave himself open. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Kick right in the spine. Goal! McDonough dodges. Nice drop kick. Drag reversal. Chop to the chest. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Suplex. Got their opponent set up. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. McDonough wasting no. Oh, hold on. Is he thinking of the submission here? How do you escape the abdominal stretch? Like that. He fends off the attack. Powered them up. No. Here come the punches. And breaks out. Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights out. He may be in a bad way here. Into the cover. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Chris Eric O.
And this has to be a deflating loss for J.D. McDonough. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. And here he comes. Double the gold, double the bragging rights. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion and the NXT Champion, Seth freaking Rollins! It's got to be great to be a double champion in WWE, but he has twice the target on his back right now. Indeed, Michael. When you're at this level in WWE, everyone is gunning for you, even your so-called allies. I think this guy has more titles than friends right now. Gentlemen, you don't get to this level of success in WWE by accident. He had the skill to earn both those titles, and I think he's got the skill to keep both titles. Gentlemen, bow down to the almighty Dolph. And his opponent from Palm Beach, Florida, weighing in at 260 pounds, the NXT UK champion, the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. You know, Byron, I think it might save Mr. DiBiase a few bucks if we got you eliminated from the announce team. Uh, there is no need for that. I'm fine out here. Everybody's got a price. Byron just happens to be in the bargain bin. The Million Dollar Man spares no expense. Hey, you remember when he bought the WWE Championship or helped bankroll the debut of The Undertaker? And he used his money to bring Steve Austin to the WWE. History making moves are just a drop in the bucket for DiBiase. The Million Dollar Man lives his life outside the ring in the lap of luxury, looking down on everyone else from his private jet or being chauffeured around in a stretch limo. But he will have to get his hands dirty here. Will he, though, Michael? For the Million Dollar Man, there's no problem he can't buy his way out of. I wouldn't be surprised if he's already taken measures to ensure everything goes his way here. In fact, I bet the victory champagne is already on ice backstage. Well, hopefully that wasn't a miscalculation on his part. Money can't solve every problem in the ring. But then we've got Seth freaking Rollins, a truly superior talent who's at the top of his game. Seth has never been more cunning, more ruthless, more driven inside the ring than he is now. Every day, we are seeing the best Seth Rollins yet. I really can't argue against that, Corey. 
Seth isn't one to rest on his victories or back down from a challenge. He thinks he's the best thing WWE has ever seen. And he's always ready to climb into the ring and prove it out. Elbow drop. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Attack in the foot. Oh, that hurts. What's he gonna do here? Oh, looking to cripple the leg. This match grinded him down a little. Furious offense from Rollins. His temper's flaring right now. How do you keep up with an underhanded opponent like the Million Dollar Man? Don't let the glitz and glam of the Million Dollar Man throw you off. If you let DiBiase distract you for even a moment, he'll find some way to tip the scales in his favor. Series of kicks. That'll stun you. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Ooh, bullseye! He's got him down. Is this it? Almost! Two and a half. Somehow, some way. All right, DiBiase able to counter. DiBiase able to stop the blitz that was coming his way. That might be what gets him out of jeopardy. Fist drop! Just like that. Oh, oh, there's a submission on the way. It's in. Figure four leg lock. Oh, look at this. He's trying to turn it. He does. Turns the pressure. Using the elbow as a weapon. Firing with a straight shot there. Answering back. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Slugging away with everything they've got. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. Powerless position to be in right now. Straight impact. Is it enough here? Getting the shoulder up before two. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Uh oh. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Caught in a bad position here. Targeting the throat there. Oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Single underhook. Face buster. He's starting to struggle here. Typical crafty offense from Rollins as this match goes on. Big back body drop. What elevation. He turns it around. Oh, caught that foot by surprise. Power bomb position. But right hands create. Oh, maybe time to start burning it down. Rollins is starting to roll. And well timed maneuver there. And misses on the springboard. And responds with a counter of their own. Whoa, not quite yet. That gets reversed on DiBiase. Top pro putting it all on the line. From the top, double axe handle connects. Seth's been plotting that move all match long. Visionary offense from the drip god. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. What are they gonna do here on the second row? Oh. Tornado step suplex. Amazing. Dodged right on cue. Single leg drop for the pin and the win. Yes. And that'll do it. It's finally over with the win. Here is your winner, Seth Freaking Rollins. 
Unfortunately for the Million Dollar Man, things did not go his way. There are some things money can't buy, including a win here for the Million Dollar Man. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Auckland, New Zealand, Tony Storm. Matches like these, with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment is an art form. One of the best competitors around, ready to show her skills. The self-proclaimed GOAT. And her partner from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Trish Stratus. You know, since Trish's return to WWE, she has been relentless in attacking her foes with a level of aggression we've never seen from her before. Well, at times early in her career, Trish had a thankless job. You do that for long enough, and the aggression just comes naturally. Trish just isn't content to be thanked anymore. She wants revenge. Here comes Mighty Molly! And from parts unknown, Mighty Molly! Straight out of the comic book. <laughs> Guys, I have a question. If she's a superhero, why doesn't she fly to the ring? Uh, because she needs to conserve her powers, Corey. Duh. You're a child. What a tremendous athlete, Bianca Belair. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. 
Bianca is just so naturally gifted. It's like everything comes easy to her. She is good at everything. Without question, one of the best, most purest natural athletes we have ever seen in WWE. A freak in the weight room, a beast in the ring. Bianca Belair can do it all. And she's got a lethal hair whip. A major match ahead of her. She plans on proving exactly why she's worthy of big matches like these. And the bell is rung getting this tag match started. When you think of tag teams that are itching to make an impact on tonight's event, you don't have to look any further than these two. Two teams with a desire to steal the show. Measured stomp right to the gut. Followed up by another to the chest. Boom, right across the small of the back. Right to the knee. Oof. Oh, jarring back elbow. Hung out to drive. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. Taking out the arm, great strategy. Uh oh. Oh, that got turned around on Molly. Loading up, full speed ahead, hip attack. Will this be enough? Come on, ref, get some control. Shut up, Byron. There's a snapmare. Oh, what a bump to the face! <laughs> ah, striking with an A. The switch here to Trish Stratus. Oh, boom! Taking the wind out with a stomp to the solar plexus. Right on the arm. Tag! Bulldog! Well, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Set up in the corner of the ring. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. This competitor has such a deep arsenal, we're about to see more of it. Springboard! Head scissor! Incredible! Bianca outthought her there. Ah, oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. That arm's going to be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. Belair now trying to capitalize. Becky Lynch locks up her opponent. A little stall action. And look at this, showing off. I like it. I'm loving this. Not so much for her opponent. Boom, crash landing. Just pounding away right in the face. My God. to win. Oh, man, check out this power. Gorilla press slam. The fatigue is setting in for her. Looking for more damage here. Ah, release back suplex. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. She throws her back in. And guys, she's dangerously close to a countout loss. Now the leverage in this match is in Bianca's favor. Belair is showing no mercy out here. You know, I didn't think we were going to go this far at first. I mean, big personalities like this, it was only a matter of time, Corey. Great counter! Larian! Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. Can she do it here? 
and she's not done yet. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. Tag made, tag made. And she's stunned in the corner. Oh, and she turns it around. through the arena. Uh oh from the top rope, Snapman. That was nasty. And Trish gets countered. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. DDT! Oh, man. He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. Oh, look at this claw on the face. Round and around we go. Tilt the world head scissors. She might be in some trouble now. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Return fire from Molly. Coquina clutch. Locked it. Trying to steal one here. Attack after attack is smothering Molly. Molly finding herself in a tough spot. Oh my gosh! Judo throw! Oh, cutter! Grueling matchup. And look who's here. Ah, oh, some taunting going on. Future matchup, perhaps? I'd say that's a highly likely possibility. 